Well, hey crafty friends, it's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming. On this video tutorial, I'm going to show you these beautiful glass bottles that I ordered on Amazon. They were not terribly expensive. We're going to add some of those little um, twinkly fairy lights to them. And they have a top that looks sort of like a wine cork, and we're going to stencil them. So uh, it's going to be a really fun project. And if you want the Amazon links, um, just say Amazon, and I'll get that for you as soon as we're oh, finished. Okay, so let's, um, do I, what do I want to do? Well, I want to show you the most beautiful one because I have been playing with these for a little while. Um, okay, so you know this gorgeous stencil from magnoliadiy.com. Cardinals appear when angels are near. All right, well, this is too big for a bottle, right? But part of it works. So what I did was I used a paintbrush get a decent one. I don't really have any decent <laughs> artist brushes. So I did this one. There's the start of it. And then there's this gorgeous wreath that goes all along the bottom. What do you think? Isn't that amazing? This in the, um, in the reflection with my ring light and all that, this looks sort of purpley, but it's red. And I, when I saw the red, I immediately thought of the cardinal stencil. And um, so tell me what you guys think about this. We're gonna actually do some, but uh, I just wanted to show you what I've been doing. Okay, let me give you my uh, warning. Glass is something that stencils tend to stick to and can be hard to remove. So you want to fuzz, 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 fuzz your stencils before you use them. And I, I generally do it on my tacky towel or a t-shirt or a pair of jeans. But what, when I say fuzz, 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 I mean, if it's a new stencil, maybe five or six times. Because if you don't, when you remove it, you may accidentally end up stretching your stencil. So I'll show you that too. Okay, um, so this is the first one that I did. I'm so excited about it. I don't know where I'm going to put it, but shoot, this would make a gorgeous gift. Yeah, really. And um, I do believe that you can get just the red bottles, but I opted to get a set of, of four each color, and there's three colors, so 12 bottles. Um, okay, so then this is the next one that I have been working on, and we're going to keep going with it. And what I'm thinking about this one is we're going to make a snowman, and this would be such a fun project to do with a, a child, a grandchild, a niece, a nephew, with your, um, with a group of kids, for them to put in their bedroom and to just turn their lights on at bedtime and they'll have a little snowman in their room with them. So let's finish this one up. You guys can see. Okay, and I'm using the Snowman Face Stencil, which is a new one that just came out. This is the one I used. The one, this is a little girl. You can tell it's a little girl snow person because she has eyelashes. And here's the little boy snow person, no eyelashes. And then you have buttons and you have a scarf. Well, there's not a ton of room on these bottles, so we're gonna do the buttons and then we're gonna add a scarf with a piece of flannel that I just cut. Uh, my pinking shears are very terrible. <laughs> 
So they didn't do a great job pinking, but I'll show you how to do this too. Okay, so let me grab my Sharpie. And I'm gonna write buttons on the back of this. I have not used it yet. And if it's easier, you could cut this smaller because this is pretty big. I think, in fact, I think I will. It just doesn't need to be that giant. Okay, so I am gonna take it off of the backing sheet and I'm gonna fuzz it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Because it's brand new, it's never been used before. Uh, although this is a smaller stencil and when you're working with smaller stencils, they don't tend to get stretched as easy. So we're gonna put these buttons in what would be the center of our little girl snow person. And because the, um, the bottles are curved, I'm gonna use a paintbrush to apply chalk paste and um, instead of a squeegee. But if you want to use a squeegee, that's fine too. Uh, so did I say any of my normal stuff? Say hi. <laughs> Let me know where you're watching from. Feel free to sprinkle. Feel free to ask questions. Excuse me. At the end, let me know if you want the Amazon information because I did just order these bottles, I think on Monday, and they came yesterday. Um, or the fairy light things, the little twinkly lights. Um, just say Amazon, and then if you want information about the stencils, you can just say link or stencils or something. Okay, so this is just chalk paste. And I'm gonna to put my brush. Okay, let's take this off. Oh darn, I did stretch it a little bit. When they, when they curl like this, that's what that is. But most of the time when you wash them and you dry them, you can kind of make them to lay flat again. A hat would be adorable on this. I've been thinking about that. Um, and I know there's so many super creative people watching that y'all can take this idea up, you know, 25 notches. Okay, so then I would put my little scarf on her. And why don't we wait until her buttons are dry and then I'll put the scarf on her. And I'll probably tack it down with a little bit of glue. I wish that this flannel that I had was two-sided and not white on the back. Um, this is the scarf stencil that goes with it. I don't know, that might... That might possibly fit. We'll try both. Okay, so let me set this over here. And let's play with the blue one. Uh, we're gonna do two blue bottles. Um, the first one we're gonna do with this brand new stencil that says Dashing Through the Snow. It's a five by seven. Oops. Okay, I know someone's gonna ask this question. What do you do to prepare the bottles? I did absolutely nothing. These are clean. They're in good shape. They don't have a bunch of fingerprints or anything on them. Uh, they don't seem to have any like coating or anything that you would need to clean off. 
before you use them. What's going on here? I would definitely recommend this bottle company. I know I had some Sky Vodka bottles that I did last year. Let me show you those. And then I've changed them out to fall. These were Sky Vodka bottles that a friend who worked at a restaurant gave me. Look at how cute those little dots are. Um, and so many of you guys asked where you could find blue bottles like that. And so this year I'm like, I'm just going to see what I can order on Amazon because, well, I'll answer, answer that question in just a second, because I know people will want to be able to just hop online and order bottles in whatever color you want. Um, and the red, white, and blue, I think, will be super fun for Memorial Day and Fourth of July and Labor Day and all summer, really. Okay, so somebody just asked, what do you need to do to the chalk paste after you apply it? Do you need to put something over the top of it? No, you absolutely do not. Um, I made this several months ago, the chalk paste. I used the fall leaf stencil. The chalk paste is on here just fine. It's going to dry hard and stable, um, but it's not permanent. So you can plop this in the sink when you're done, when you want to change it for another season or a, a different event, and just use a sponge and the chalk paste will come off. But there's absolutely nothing that you need to do to... Um, to make it stay on there. And I would not use a clear matte sealer spray because I'm afraid that would make all of your glass look really cloudy. So you don't need to do anything. Okay, I think I fuzzed this enough. I was thinking about using that beautiful, this stencil with the deer, but I've used it so much that I decided to do this one, the dashing through the snow, but this would be beautiful on a blue bottle too, or even a frosted bottle. Okay, so I'm just going to push everything down really good, especially where the, um, where the cut, cutouts are on the stencil. Make sure that I don't see any bubbles in a bad spot looks like and I'm going to grab another paintbrush we'll use a brand new one if I can get it open and I'm going to use white chalk paste oops it helps to take that thing off So you, again, you could use a squeegee if you want. Um, I know there were some questions that came by. The questions that I've missed, because I'm concentrating, um, when I'm done here, I will go sit down in my comfy chair and I'll read everything that you guys have to say for the people who want information about Amazon or about these stencils or chalk paste or anything else. I'll get that for you straight away and um, yeah, so I just want to assure you that uh, if I can't catch all of your comments while you're saying them, um, I will catch them when I'm sitting down and not distracted. And if you ever get uh, with your chalk paste kind of to a point where it's seeming pretty dry, which is an, a normal thing to have happen, uh, you can put a little squirt or a few drops of distilled water in it and stir it. But just use your chalk paste. Don't save it because it doesn't, it isn't going to stay good forever. So use it while you can. and promptly close it up. And I'll probably add a little bit of distilled water before I put those away.
you guys saw how much I fuzzed the stencil and it's still a little bit of a challenge to get it to come up. Okay, that didn't stretch too bad. Throwing it in my little tub of water over here. So it can start soaking until I can get out to my kitchen sink. Dashing through the snow. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. And of course, you can do whatever kind of doodads you want on the top. So let me show you how these lights come. We'll put them in here and I'll turn it on. And then we'll do another bottle. We're going to use the new snowflake stencils for that one. Um, there's, there are so many great Christmas and winter stencils that would be perfect for this kind of a project. Okay, these are going to come all... Oops. All curled up. Last year I bought these kind of lights at Walmart and lots of you guys told me that you had ordered them on Amazon and that they were better quality than the Walmart ones and sure enough you were right. My Walmart ones um, were, you can change the batteries. These actually come with a little teeny screwdriver so that you can change the batteries in your little cork things. You just pull out this little tab Pull your, step, your uh, cord kind of straight so you can poke it in the bottle. And then you can use, you know, some chopsticks or a pencil or something like that if you feel like you want to move the lights around in the bottle. I like them just looking kind of messy. And I, do you, let's see, do you guys remember when this whole idea of decorating wine bottles kind of started to be a thing? And people would have to drill a hole in the side of their bottles in order to get lights in there? Well, that is not the thing anymore. Okay, come on, let's go in. Now they have these little sets that the battery part looks very similar to a wine cork. Let me turn off my overhead light just to see if that makes any difference in what you can see. Isn't that cool? Um, so it's super easy to turn it on and off. Okay, let's do some snowflakes. And then I'll show you everything one more time. And we'll put our scarf on our little girl snow person. Okay, I have another blue bottle out. And I really, really, really love the idea that I can do this for a season with chalk paste and then I can wash it off and I could do something beachy with this in the summer I could do something 4th of July-ish uh, you can just keep changing them all year we're using this this is the new snowflake stencil if you want to link to this tell me in the comments and don't wait too long to order this one um, it sold out last year and I feel like there's a good possibility that it will again this year. Okay, and so it comes with all these different snowflakes. And let's just put one or two on and then I'll finish it up off camera. I have already used these a few times, but I'm still gonna fuzz them. Okay, and where you place them, 
is just completely up to you. If you want them totally random or if you want to have them be symmetrical or something like that, then you can, you know, just plan that. Okay, and I'm going to use my white chalk paste again. So as I'm getting it on, then I'm going to kind of pull some of the big uh, globs, the real thick places, I'm going to kind of pull that off with my brush. And Okay, let's see, do I have everything? I think I do. Do you guys like this project? Yes, they could put these by their beds in the summer. They could put them by their beds at in the winter, at Christmas. Um, I absolutely love this idea. And I think they're probably pretty safe. Oh yeah, it didn't hardly even stretch out. Um, I think these will be pretty safe. I'm not sure how long the battery will last on the little lights. Um, so, but this set right here, so, so it's not pretty. Oh, and the other thing you can do, I'll show you how to do that, is you can add the little dots. Um, and there's a lot of different ways to do it. You get a stir. Okay, you can take the end of a paintbrush and dip it in your chalk paste. These are pretty big dots. Um, they're, they have a little point on them. So that's one thing you could do. And if you decide you don't like it, can you see how they have like some dimension to them? If you decide that you don't like them, you can just wipe that part off. Okay, this is, um, what is this called? A uh, stylus? I don't know, it's a Walmart, some, or a Dollar Tree something. It has a smaller head. So I'm sure you have something around your house that you could use to make little dots if you wanted that like I did with this one. And these dots are still here. You, they're raised, you can feel them, and they're doing just fine. Nothing has crumbled or fallen off. Uh, so I will finish this one up off camera. We could put something like some white string around the top. We could, um, put some furry ribbon around the top. We could just do some jute string. There's lots of options for what you can do with that. So I'm gonna show you uh, all of the bottles in just a second. Let me get this out of my way. This one, though, if you missed the beginning, this is, oh my gosh, this is beautiful. This turned out so good. I used this stencil, this cardinal stencil right here. Whoops, that's upside down. No, yeah. It says cardinals appear when angels are near. If you're going to use a larger stencil like this, just make sure that you really, really, really fuzz it um, so you don't stretch it. And I would not use this stencil for the very first time on glass because it's big. And taking it off and putting it on is, um, it's like you need uh, three sets of hands. So if you have somebody at home with you that could help you, that would be awesome. Um, so with the same stencil, I also wanted to show you this. This was a project that we did a few days ago. Whoops. This is a Dollar Tree easel, a Dollar Tree wood panel. I painted it. I used a um, palette knife to do the edging. 
I painted it in plaster colored Waverly chalk paint from Walmart and then this is just black chalk paste and look how beautiful this stencil is. It's absolutely stunning. One of my one of the prettiest designs that Magnolia's ever had for sure. Okay, let's come back to our little girl. And I don't know, what do you think? Should we should we try the scarf that came in the set? Let's see if I can find it. Over here somewhere. If I was going to do something like this, then I would just put it on and tie a little knot and hope that you had some flannel that uh, was two-sided, but you get the idea with that. You could also crochet something, which is what I was thinking. I have just read the most awesome book. It's called The Crochet Crew, I think. Um, anyways. Okay. So let's fuzz this puppy, and then we'll try it. And of course, you could do the, these, especially if you're making them for your kids, letting your kids make them, you don't make them. Um, you could use some pink chalk paste or red chalk paste or blue, you know, or absolutely whatever appeals to you. Okay, let's see. It's going to cover up a little bit of the buttons. Let's try it. What the heck? If it's a complete flop, I can wash it off and start over. Where did I get the lights with the corks? I ordered these on Amazon. And I um, have a link that will take you directly to these that I can get you if you just say Amazon. When I'm all finished up here, I'd be glad to grab that for you. Paper towel. I'm just going to continue this one on in black, but you could do absolutely whatever you wanted. And you could make a hat of some sort, I'm thinking, uh, that would just really be adorable. And it would cover up the, the wine cork, but I, I don't think those look too bad. If you're wondering why am I using a paintbrush uh, instead of a squeegee, you could use a squeegee if you wanted. I just think it's easier when you're working on a surface that is curved to use a paintbrush. Okay, let's see how this turned out. I really have no idea. Is this going to be a wow or is it going to be a flop? It's pretty cute so far. If this bottle was taller, the, um, the snowman stencil set would work better. It's a little short for this set, but what do you think? Okay, let me put everything over here and I'll pull all the bottles out so you can see them one last time. And then I'm going to go sit down and start reading comments. If, um, if you have questions or if you want a link, just let me know. I will finish this snowflake one up and get the fairy lights in it.
Pretty cool, huh? I'm pretty pleased, especially this cardinal one, you guys. It's beautiful. Yeah, the snowman bottles are so much fun. Oh my gosh. And you can make so many cute projects uh, with your kids or grandkids, nieces or nephews, great, great grandkids, kids next door, your brownie or Girl Scout group or boys, uh, Cub Scouts or, I mean, there's so many fun things that you could do with the snowman stencil. There's two faces. One is a boy and one is a girl. This is a girl. She has eyelashes. Um, there's a set of buttons and then there's a scarf. Julie, I will get you a link. Uh, give me 20 minutes and I'll get all everyone the links out if you want this fairy light information or you want this information. This was the box that all my bottles came in. And great quality, good shape, nothing scratch, scratch or anything. Um, just let me know and I would be glad to get that out to you. Alrighty. Thanks for watching. Have a blessed and wonderful rest of your day. Um, it is permanent, Liz. It's permanent until you take it off. It's not going anywhere. Chalk paste dries hard and stable. Unless you get it wet, um, there's no need to put anything on top of it. And what I'm afraid of is if you, um, okay, so Liz was saying, is there any way to make it permanent? If you spray something on it, then I'm afraid your glass is going to look cloudy and it won't look good. If you use a wax on it, I think this is going to smear the chalk paste everywhere. The best thing to do is just to apply your chalk paste, let it dry, and then, you know, don't put this in your purse or carry it around with you. Set it on a shelf and it'll be permanent as long as you don't get it wet. So. Okay. Oh, and um, if you haven't already liked and followed this page, take two seconds to see. Um, do it this or this. Or say something in the comments if you want Facebook to show you what I have coming up next. And I am working, oh my gosh, should I give you a little sneak peek? I am using my tassel maker and I'm working on a long garland that's going to have black, gray, and white tassels. And then I'm making some of these ugly sweater uh, little wood pieces that I'm going to hang on there too. And I'll show you. Here's one. Anyways, it's going to be really fun. So I have lots and lots of good stuff coming up. Uh, lots of Thanksgiving, some Christmas, some winter, uh, lots of faith, lots of everyday kind of stuff, some funny kid stuff, some family stuff, and I do try to mix it all up. Um, like yesterday we did this. These are Dollar Tree bottle brush trees, and I put magnets on the bottom of them. Oops to get them to stay standing up in this Goodwill uh, silver platter. My dear does not want to stand up. Anyways, so I definitely try to mix it up. Um, let me know if you want links. Have a blessed rest of your day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.